In this walkthrough, you'll learn how to purchase, enable, and configure NetApp Cloud Volume Service for Google Cloud from the Google Marketplace. Cloud Volume Service is the easy button for your most demanding Linux and Windows Enterprise workloads like SAP using NFS, SMB, or CIFS storage protocols. Dynamically adjust the size of the volume and performance level to tune storage to your app requirements. You get complete performance control the ability to protect data across regions, increase security, and predictable pricing. Let's get started. Before you start, be sure you have billing administration rights within Google Cloud. From the NetApp Cloud Volume Service Google Marketplace page, click Purchase. Complete the required fields on the order summary. The plan and subscription period fields are pre-filled. The usage fee field shows the different service tiers and the price per allocated gigabyte. Select a billing account and agree to the terms and conditions. Once you've made your choices, scroll down and select subscribe. A pop-up appears confirming your request. To enable the service, select go to marketplace to return to the cloud volume service marketplace page. Here, you can see that the Purchase button has changed to Enable. Click to enable the API and be taken to the Cloud Volumes user interface. Click the checkbox and agree to proceed to the service dashboard. In the Cloud Volumes user interface, configure the private services access connections between your environment, your project, and the NetApp Cloud Volumes project. Configuring private services access requires a network administrator role to run the Google Cloud commands. In the Cloud Volumes UI, click Create to configure private services access connections. Name your volume. Choose a friendly name so when you look at your volumes, they're easily distinguishable. Select the service type. Select the service region accept or modify the volume path. Select the service level. For details about service levels, see pricing for service levels documentation. Otherwise, select the appropriate service level and allocated capacity. Input the allocated capacity for the volume. To keep it simple, create your first volume with protocol type NFS v3. If you only want to use SMB volumes, delete the NFS volume after successful creation. For network details, determine if you are running a shared VPC or a non-shared VPC. If in a shared VPC, be sure to check the box under Network Details. You can customize your address range. Click Use Custom Address Range. It must be an RFC 1918 compliant CIDR range. Select the VPC network name dropdown and choose your network. If you haven't set up network peering, a red pop-up appears. If this has already been configured, click Save. If not, open up Cloud Shell in the top right corner to set up network peering. To set up service network peering, click View Commands in the red box to see which commands need to be created. Click View Commands. Copy the first command to reserve the address range that will be used for Cloud Volume Service. Paste it into Cloud Shell and hit Enter on your keyboard. Click Authorize to approve configuring via Cloud Shell. Next, click View Commands again. Copy the second command for VPC peering and paste it into Cloud Shell. Type Y for Yes. This takes a few minutes to set up. When the peering command is complete, you can run the final command to enable custom routes propagation. Click View Commands. Copy the third command to propagate routes and paste it into Cloud Shell. Your private service access has been configured for this network. The red box should disappear. If it does not, Click the Volumes tab on the left and quickly go through the steps again to create a volume. Once you select your VPC network name, the red box will not appear. Select Save and create your first volume. The first volume takes about 2 minutes to create. Each subsequent volume takes 10 seconds. To edit your volume, click on the ellipses menu to the right 
to see snapshots, revert, mounting instructions, and also to edit or delete. To customize the attributes you wish to see in this view, click here and choose the desired fields. If you have questions or need assistance, email us at gcinfo at netapp.com.